If a person has sleep apnea and uses a CPAP machine, how can we help to support uh, nighttime cortisol levels? And that's a great question because a CPAP doesn't always seem to return people's stress physiology. Sometimes they need some additional support. And I would say, you know, from a lifestyle perspective, it makes the most sense to curb any late night eating, caffeine obviously in the second half of the day, and alcohol uh, as much as possible. This can make a difference to that overnight cortisol. Progesterone therapy has been looked at for improving respiratory function, which indirectly can lower cortisol that's maybe high due to oxidative stress. And then I also think about adaptogens quite a bit that lower cortisol, but also particularly protect the brain, like ginkgo biloba has some good study behind it for increasing oxygen flow. Uh, to the brain and also acts as an, ad an adaptogen. Bacopa, Bacopa monieri, uh, L-theanine, and lion's mane are all supports that protect the brain, but also adaptogens and keep cortisol under wraps. And then other sort of indirect helpers would be things like NAC, vitamin D, and omega-3s, so kind of going after the inflammatory oxidative stress side that might be pushing up cortisols from hypoxia.